Wednesday, October 18th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Cora Maracosta. Here are today's top stories. Remembrance Week continues. SU marks 35 years since the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103. The annual screening of seat 20D will be held tonight at 7 in the HBC Gifford Auditorium. The documentary tells the story of a mother whose son was killed in the terrorist attack. A Q&A session with filmmaker Jill Campbell will follow. SU School of Education is joining a $25 million project. The project supports Uzbekistan in improving professional inclusive education. Funded by the federal government, professors will revise educational materials and update the national curriculum. Uzbekistan has set a goal to make over half of their schools inclusive by 2025 with the help of SU professionals. Syracuse University Athletics has announced a Coach Jim Beheim Day. In a press release, SU Athletics said that the day will honor the most successful coach in program's history. It will be February 24th, which is a home game against Notre Dame. Beheim announced his retirement at the end of last season, following 47 years of coaching. A new airline is coming to Syracuse Hancock International Import, uh, Airport. Rather, Minnesota-based Sun County Airlines will begin seasonal non-stop service from Syracuse to Minneapolis, St. Paul, beginning in 2024. The airline describes itself as a, quote, ultra-low-cost carrier, and flights are expected to start next summer. Moving upstate now, Clarkson University is developing a plan that could cut faculty and programs in humanities. Documents say the potential cuts are to redirect focus to STEM majors. North County now reports university officials are calling this a Plan A, quote, prototype, and would not answer any questions about how many employees would be cut in the process. Clarkson officials, however, say students who are already enrolled in humanities programs won't be affected. Coming up, the House failed to find a speaker in a second vote. What the next steps will be. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you, your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker. Your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Can Jim Jordan came up short in the second round of votes for House Speaker. The final tally was 212 for Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries and 199 for Jordan. The House has been without a speaker for two weeks now. Jordan can only afford to lose four Republican votes, but at this point is behind by more than a dozen. The Ohio congressman said he is not giving up despite waning support. President Biden wrapped up his high-stakes visit to Israel today. Biden achieved the key objective of his trip. Israel has agreed to allow limited quantities of aid into Gaza through Egypt. The president also announced $100 million in U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance in both Gaza and the West Bank to support civilians displaced by the conflict. Now, back to the 315. It's been getting pretty chillier here, but with more information on that is our weather anchor, Luke Radel. Hey there, Cora. It's getting to be that time of year. Honestly, though, it's staying pretty consistently within those upper to upper 50s to low 60 degree temperatures. Right now outside is 58 degrees. A nice little shot there of the quad. Mostly cloudy skies, as you can probably see behind me. But we did put in a little fall leaves there because it is feeling a lot like fall. And so when you're experiencing those around 60 degree temperatures, remember that it can and will get worse. Now, I'm going to do something here, Cora, that I probably shouldn't be doing on the Citrus TV now. I'm going to say the S word, and that word is, of course, snow. We are getting ready for snow to come to Syracuse at some point in the near future, most likely. We're looking at a forecast from AccuWeather that suggests that this winter is going to be a snowier winter than we've seen in Syracuse in the past four years. Now, last year, we only had half of its normal snowfall, but we're expecting to get right back up to normal levels for this upcoming winter. I'll have more on that forecast for you coming up on Live at 6. Cora? Thank you. Look, I'll be looking forward to that. Well, coming up on News Live at 6, the New Muslim Student Association is hosting Prayers for Peace. Our Ronnie Perillo will be live in an hour with the plans for the evening. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X and Instagram. I'm Cora Maricasa. Have a good one.